I think first is gonna be Matador, who is fully trying now, going the Wario. Dude, this is weird. This is like, I, I keep getting, I keep, people keep saying I sound like things. Somebody said I sound like Prince Zuko on commentary, which I just don't see. <laughs> yeah, that's not an insult yet, I know. Love you, Matt Pat. I already miss him, you know? All right, we'll say though, what is uh, what is record? What is the record uh, on King Robo and uh, Matador? <laughs> All right, you know what? Thank you for saying I sound like Matpat. I'll take it. Oh my goodness! Yo, I I wish I was Matpat though, because then I could do like a full video on how on earth that backer took the percent that early. Matador is playing angry. I thought the the uh, Wario might be playing slow. Uh, might be playing slow because uh, Matador's been going all Mario, but no, it is just as deadly as I remember it. Uh, it is, uh... Yeah, just Math had to leave early, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, that corkscrew is doing so much percent. This is not looking good for Robo. But yeah, uh, Slashy, the me broadly player, broader player, is currently in Winterside Grants. Yeah, this is, uh... This is looking like... This is looking rough <laughs> for uh, Robo. Probably wishing the Mario was still there. Great up match caught up, but I don't know why. Robo looks so sad when he hit that. Probably recognize... Probably already thinking this game one is over. But hey, never say never, man. It's not like Wario has a uh, fully armored move that can kill you at 40 and has uh, many setups into it or anything like that. Uh oh! Good parry. You know what would be a fun buff? If uh, they give uh, Wario Nair belly armor, just like K Roll, wouldn't that be fun? Ooh, the parry into the 40 is a true punish. Oh, but so far, this is this is so even stock, and K Roll can take the stock like nothing, but. It's gonna take a little bit more than nothing to do it. No. <laughs> fair enough. I asked and I received. That's fair. Uh oh, I see some glowing, uh, some glowing particle effects on this Wario. I think we are very close to uh, seeing a waft. And oh my god, if you got that falling up air. Oh my god, the nares. That should be it, right? Going for the double. You were greedy, Matador. You had the guaranteed right there. Dude, Jesus Christ. He, I don't think he's been hit in a while. Oh my goodness, he couldn't hold it in. All right, well, that is a blessing from the gods themselves. Palutena smiling on your day, but back throw. Setting up on the platform, surprisingly. Maybe Matador knew that. We'll see, with the way this is going, I feel like Matador's gonna get another waft. He, I think he's already at uh, half waft, or nearly at half waft. Good dash attack, all right. Matador just needs to get a spike. Oh, sorry. Uh, King Robo needs a spike, and this could be even. Oh, that's it. Yeah, sour up here into the hand. The move is called hand slap. It's it's, it's a hand clap, but yeah. Yes. All right, are we running it right back to PS2? I think we might just be. Actually, I, I see some I see some uh, pensiveness in uh, Robo's posture. Okay, we're going right back to PS2. Ignore that. Ignore what I was saying. Start the battle. King Wario. Wario. Let me get another quick sip of water before this game number two starts. Three, two, one, I'm now out of water, so uh, this is scary. Goodness, the combos don't stop the corkscrew as well. Matador's playing on fire. We do have one of my favorite themes in the game, though, being the Elite Four theme from Sun and Moon. And hopefully that powers uh, uh, the King Robo up. Dude, it, I don't know how we got this 19%. There we go. Sending it into 41. Matador is also so good at playing evasive to the point where you know that at some that he's gonna get waft like no matter what you always are gonna have to deal with that factor on most likely your last stock because it's just how prompt, uh, how practiced he is. Oh, but that whiff grab uncharacteristic for Matador going for such a greedy option. Actually, I'm not gonna say that he goes with greedy stuff all the time. Who am I, what, who am I kidding? Good jabs right there, launching on the platform, but not an attack chase. The clash of the Nair and the up here works out more in Kano's favor, I would say. All right, but once again, we are back to the ledge traps. Big, dude, these parries from Matador have been fantastic. Oh, back throw might actually take it. 
yeah, there we go. All right, um, Robo with the stock lead this time. This is going uh, much better than game number one. All right, but a back air dice will certainly do it. We have the RARs coming out in full force. I think forward air will take it now. Dan down air will also definitely do it. I think just about most of the things that Wario does. Hey, there we go. There's the uh, up smash that we know him do that he uh, does with Mario. Dude, why does Wario have that but Kirby doesn't? Why can Wario eat that stuff and not get punished? Meanwhile, Kirby sits to a full second end lag when he's projectile. That's like the only thing I will really complain about with Kirby. Everything else I'm fine with. But let me eat projectile. It's so cool. Oh, the Chomp not going to be taking the stock just yet. Yeah. What's Wario's diet? Bikes. And garlic. Come on, man. You know the lore. Oh, the tech in place getting caught by the dash attack. 62% is looking at 62%, excuse me, he healed. Uh, not looking the worst for King Robo, but once again, this is just one Wario Nair string into a couple up airs away from being uh, even. Oh, not getting the second in Nair. Robo able to fear it out of there and, and keep this alive. Loft is on deck though, falling up here, which Matador is looking for. Speaking of up here, there we go. Sorry, I put my phone in. Oh, and there it is, getting the falling up air into the up B. I actually didn't even see, or into the down B. Didn't even see that conversion happen. I just heard slap into... And I was like, yep, he got up here wafted. Ooh, does add... That, that cannonball must not have been garlic flavor because Wario not able to eat it. All right, but oh, the shield, or maybe it's an already dropped shield. This is still looking good for Robo. Uh, only down 50, about 60%, and no watch on deck, at least for a tiny bit. But as I say that, the combo game is just not in his favor. He keeps getting grabbed, he keeps getting up aired. I made the watch sound. Yeah, I tried to. Ooh, good back though. Yeah, Madro going high. Doesn't even want to toy with the possibility of getting spiked right now. And I think we're getting close to half waft, so. Uh, this is kill percent still to an up tilt to an up uh, falling up air. Oh, he doesn't have the bike. Mario looking confused. God, that that chomp is such a good way to catch it. Has the crown in hand, just keeping it steady. Yeah, this Robo has been stuck on the right on the right ledge for a while. That might take it. Okay, no, we're still alive. That's gonna be it. All right, Robo. Couldn't uh, couldn't take that early waft and run with it. So unfortunate. Matador is playing just so well. Oh my god, you hear that laughing? Rude. Stop Hope you guys can't, eat, can't hear me take a chomp out of this granola bar real quick. Alright, keep the music random, which is good because again, any Pokemon song is going to be great. Ooh, the run up up to was so smart. That hit animation for Wario was so funny, where he just like bobbles. Like, he looks like he's like a, like a holding big upgrade. Oh my goodness. So much damage. Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm being a little sonic because I'm eating something right now. Good four here from Nudge. Mm. There we go, Robo. There we go. That grab, I don't know if it should have hit, but hey, man, the universe wanted him to win. And why? He didn't need to do that to the bike, man. That wasn't even insured. You know how much, like, tax evasion Mario has committed? You think he has insurance on his thing? Uh-oh! All right, well, if there was ever a game to win, it is going to be this one. Robo with a massive lead after an amazing stop from him and then a slight flub from Mata. But Waft, of course, being the great equalizer. I have not had a commentary break in like an hour and a half, man. I, I've been on the mic because I love being here, all right? Oh my god, the percent. Looking even, but yet, yet again, Robo is a... Oh my god, that actually was phenomenal. If he gets the backer, that's it. Oh, is Matador dead? No, he's not. Of course he's not. He's Wario. The ideal situation there would have been uh, Mata having to recover using the waft. All right, good Nair. Oh my god, Mata was just walking up on him. That back throw is going to put him in an awful spot. 
Oh, trying to get the, uh, trying to eat him, and Downer's still not going to be able to take it. There we go, the back air will, and now this is even as far as I'm concerned, because, uh, look at that, I think Wario's going a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, everybody in the venue saying no, and that's it, all right. One gobble away, I hope you guys can hear the shouting that I'm being subjected to right now, because that was unfortunate. <laughs> All right, an amazing showing from Robo, taking it, uh, taking multiple game fives in a row in this top eight, but unfortunately will be falling to Matador yet again. Getting double eliminated by Matador, that is no, that is nothing to be sad about. Matador is so good. He is also on the PR. Someone's got to remind me of the, uh, of the placing, but, uh, but yeah, we now have a repeat of winners finals: Matador versus Slashing. I think this time Matador fully committing to the Wario, so I think a reset is very much possible. And uh, I'm always rooting for the game ten. I'm here. I'm down to be here till midnight, guys. It's my spring. It's my spring break. I got time. But you know, <laughs> God, it's so, it's always fun to see you guys erupt in chat. But no, yeah, Slashy should be taking the stand soon. Uh, just a reminder, uh, he is in Winterside Grand Finals, having a. Uh... One second. Slashy has yet to drop a game, guys. This is this could be a potential no-hitter run from Slashy unless Matador uh, pulls pull himself up by the bootstraps because uh, Slashy's